So, uh, DJI has now announced the latest generation of their uh, mic systems, of their, of their main wireless mic systems, the Mic 3s. As you guys will see right here, this is the article from Cine D. Uh, DJI comes with the support uh, for up, uh, these some, and there's some pretty good features, I will say about that. So we got uh, supports up to four transmitters and eight receivers, as well as precise time code. I think that's going to be the key uh, feature that this, that this is going to have. It features an adaptive gain control, uh, three voice tone presets, a two level noise cancellation. Uh, furthermore, the Mic 3 supports dual file 32 bit float recording with 32 gigabytes of trans uh, uh, transmitter storage. So finally, so the first thing I gotta say is I'm glad that they finally updated their storage um, because uh, that was one of the few things that I held the uh, Rode, Mi Rode Wireless Pros over the uh, the, DJI, the DJI mics. Well, there was a f several things that I felt the, the Wireless Pros were better at than the DJI mics. Um, so I'm interested to see, the main thing for me, the main thing for me is the audio quality because I know how popular the DJI mics are, but um, I personally was just, I was just never a fan of the audio quality that came out of them, even in the 32-bit float. I think the big thing, and this is, and they've kind of solved arguably one of my biggest gripes with um, uh, these smaller wireless mics that offer time code. And that is, um, I don't really understand the point of time code uh, in terms of having it connect to only one receiver. Because the point of the time code is that you can plug this into multiple devices and sync them up. It's not just plug this one in, plug it into one single camera and then time code. But this on the other hand, uh, this on the other hand is very different. Um, this on, uh, with this, now you could put it up to four transmitters and eight receivers, meaning you can double, put one, it looks like one transmitter for every two receivers, which is dope or four. So you can do four trans, okay, maybe four transmitters and up uh, to uh, one receiver, which would be dope. So now you actually can do multi, um, you could put each receiver in and you can have a time code running to all of them and sync them up. So that to me um, is going to be the big thing along with the audio. There is, there is one, one thing and I'm just like, DJI, you had my, you had my, you had my attention. I, I've given you a lot of crap over the years for the mic twos. You got my attention, and then you made this design decision, which is right here. The DJI Mic Three does not have a 3.5 millimeter lav mic input anymore. I don't know, I don't understand this decision. The only thing I could think of is that DJI probably got uh, got upset with everybody's complaining that there wasn't a lock in 3.5, so they were like, okay, fine. If you don't want it, uh, fine. You, you don't like our 3.5 millimeter locking point? Fine, we're getting rid of it. Because uh, otherwise, why, why would you, so now, um, now your audio quality is going to base solely on the microphone that's on these transmitters. That is going to be your only option. And I, for the life of me, cannot understand this decision. Why? Because one of the benefits of having mics like the Hollyland Lark Max 2s that I have right now is that if I want to improve the quality of my mic, I want to go a different, I want to maybe get maybe some Madonna, Madonna mics um, or even go with some really high end, like uh, high quality lavalier microphones. I could just plug it right in. And if it had a three point lock, that would be even better because then it's it's industry standard. And I could, all my, my higher grade lavalier mics can go right into it. And then I get even better quality mics. I don't understand, I, I just, I just, I just don't understand this decision. 
to just eliminate it altogether. Like you made like like you made the decision to get rid of a critical uh, to me a uh, I would deem a necessary feature for any wireless microphone. Yet you still you still decide to keep your logo on here. The thing that everybody, I mean, like you still decide to really just like bold face put your logo on here. Like, <laughs> I can't, like, I, the, that was the other thing. It's like, it's just a huge branding thing. It's like, yes, and now it's just not as bold face in your face like the, um, like the bike twos were. But yeah, this decision, I, 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 I cannot, I, I am not happy with this decision. To just move away from 3.5, um, Olivia Jacks. I'm like, I wonder what is the reason. So, uh, let's. See. So if we let's read more into the article. So here's what City D says. First, let's talk about the transmitters. TX, by the way, go. You can if you want to read the whole thing article on your own. Uh, go to CityD.com to check it out. Uh, weighing 60 grams, the Bike 3 transmitter is fairly compact. The microphone angle can be flexibly adjusted with a detachable rotated clip. It can be worn. The Mic 3 windscreen can also be purchased. On the downs, yes, there has no 3D point live. Uh, so I guess they're thinking maybe there's going to be a pro version of it. But still, that's 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 a weird that's a that's such a that's such a weird reason. To, that is such a weird reason to omit such a design flaw and even though but i know it's tiny and everything so they i guess they wanted to go with uh going with like tiny and compactness but even when i go with the with the lark twos and how small they are there there was at least a uh, an attachment uh you could make an adapter that you could attach that could put 3.5 if it, if people wanted it I just, I just didn't understand this decision. 